So at the turn of the century you have Art Nouveau, which is a rebellion of uh, the machinery and the rise of uh, the Industrial Revolution. So you have all of this uh, velocity of political and social reform. In France in the late 1800s, there was state mandate that women actually got funding. It was a small group of women, but they got funding to go get an education, and uh, so women were absolutely blossoming politically. With all of the social change and how provocative everything was, they were wearing all of these layers. The bottom and one here and then they'll meet at the center. Um, sometimes there would have been another piece that goes over the top. Of course it was worn from such a young age right through pregnancy and just the way that it was just absolutely deforming was the body was just really interesting. So this one I'm not making too tight. The whole biking and women independence movement was kind of happening before the clothing reformation which started to get rid of the long trains that were um, picking up dirt in the streets and then slowly getting rid of the corsets. Um, it's interesting that uh, women's suffrage, they were wearing corsets under all that. They were fighting for the rights and they were laced up, <laughs> you know. <laughs> so I think that it's a, a really great parallel uh, to what was going on at the dawn of the 20th century and now we have similar things going on at the dawn of the 21st century. I'm just really excited for all of those um, who haven't had an opportunity to touch the fabric to come experience what it is that I'm going to be doing. Um, and it's difficult to approach this just through reading about it. Uh, once you uh, really experience the work, that's when there's a really lovely moment that happens. Uh, and I'm just excited to be sharing that with all the people who haven't come in yet.